Recently, we spent some time with Far Cry 5. More specifically, we played the entire intro and thoroughly explored its first region, the Whitetail Mountains, before having a look around that same region in co-op mode. It's safe to say our time with Far Cry 5 was packed with things to do and see, so we thought we'd let you in on a couple of the things you can do early on in Hope County to better prepare you to take on the cult of Project Eden's Gate. Here are 8 things you can do in the first hour of Far Cry 5. One of the very first things you'll do when you start exploring the world of Far Cry 5 is climb a radio tower. On behalf of the voice in your ear, Dutch, who by the way is modelled on Far Cry 5's real life executive producer and creative director Dan Hay. Don't worry though, the game knows exactly what it's doing and uses this firmly tongue in cheek mission to let you know that Far Cry radio tires are officially a thing of the past. From then on, the way you open up map icons, fast travel and places of interest is by talking to people, checking out road signs and reading local publications, which the development team say feels more akin to how you'd gather intel in real life. Well, though we won't miss climbing the tires, we did enjoy the great views they provided. But, oh well, at least we'll always have the zip lines. You'll be able to try out the new fast travel system from early on in Far Cry 5. You can fast travel to discovered locations using the conventional method of approaching by foot, same as usual, which is always handy if you're in a rush or have a specific plan of attack in mind. But if not, you can now opt for an airdrop. Not only will this help you get the lay of the land and head directly to any new places of interest you can spot from the air, it's also got a distinctly PUBG vibe. If you're playing in co-op, your partner will airdrop in too, so you can coordinate your next moves in the air or just point out your favourite sightseeing locations. Is a Far Cry game even really a Far Cry game if it doesn't give you the opportunity to trip balls? I'd argue no, and Far Cry 5 is no exception. Once you get the attention of Jacob Seed, cult leader of the initial area you find yourself in, you'll eventually be forcefully indoctrinated into some of his more questionable practices. And since his whole personal mantra is call the herd and kill the weak, you can probably imagine that this process doesn't involve eating a lot of junk food, giggling at funny YouTube videos, and then hugging it out. It's mainly just killing people in cold blood. Or is it? Did you really kill all those people? Do you even really care? The greatest injustice of all, however, is probably that Jacob doesn't let you keep the guns. At any rate, as there were plenty of mentions of an unknown substance called Bliss thrown around during our playthrough, I think it's safe to say this won't be the only drug-induced sequence you experience in Hope County. Sacrifice the weak. Keep moving. Sorry, I don't want to go on assuming nobody's gender or nothing. I, I mean, I don't mean no disrespect. I just call all my homies dude or bro or man, you know, regardless of vegetalia or penile And of course, on that note, what is a Far Cry game without Turk? This lovable goof has been a Far Cry staple for ages, and in Far Cry 5, you can meet his entire family. There's his MAGA wannabe daddy who wants to MACA, or make Hope County great again, and who simply can't stand his so-called libtard son. You a registered voter? Ah, don't matter. I need help of a different sort. Let's get to the point. You see that steaming pile of disappointment over there praying? That's my loin fruit, Hurt Jr. 
Herc Sr. will ask you to help him on the campaign trail, first by stealing back his machine gun mounted campaign car Nancy, and later by helping him to gerrymander some votes by wiping out a bunch of cultists. As Herc Sr. himself puts it, say what you will about brainwashed death cults, but at least they turn out to vote. You'll get the chance to meet Herc's mother later in the game, as his parents sadly aren't together anymore, something that poor young Herc, by his own admission, took rather badly. I'll be honest with you, man. I took my parents' divorce real personal. I know they say it ain't never the kids' fault, but man, I took it to heart anyway. Ran away from home. Dude, I, I was terrified. I had just turned 30 years old and I didn't know what I was doing, man. I, I mean, there was a thrill that came with being a runaway and a freedom that I cannot explain. I mean, that's where I found myself and that is why I recommend running away to every child I meet. Elsewhere on Casadel Herc, or Fort Drubman, you can discover a little nod to Herc's connections to past Far Cry titles. In front of a makeshift shrine, Herc is set up to start his very own religion, the Cult of Herc, whose rules are pretty restrictive. You can spot labelled cardboard boxes of stuff from Karat, from Far Cry 4, Rook Island, from Far Cry 3, and Oros, from Far Cry Primal. A cute little blast from the past and a reminder that Herks are built to last. And it's no wonder, taking Herc on missions as a gun for hire really gives you a greater appreciation of the man behind the legend. There's one now! Not only does he carry a bazooka as his standard weapon, we're definitely not compensating for anything there, he is not afraid to use it with supreme prejudice. Ah well. Wouldn't you be this confident in your abilities if enemies were so scared of you they let you just wander past without a challenge? We all know it by now. Herc is the real MVP of Far Cry. around Hope County, you'll find little monuments honoring the area's greatest local hero, Clutch Nixon. A once legendary stuntman and true American patriot, Clutch has long since retired, but his love of death-defying feats and gratuitous pyrotechnics lives on in you. One of the first Clutch Nixon stunt missions you'll come across is the Moose Knuckle Run, an ATV course that has you speed through a series of jumps and star-spangled checkpoints. It's all very, very silly, and Clutch Nixon's very own theme music makes everything that much more epic. But if you listen to a little preamble prior to the race, you'll hear that the Moose Knuckle Run, as well as having a very unfortunate name, was apparently based on an ancient Wenja ritual. April 15th, 1968. Clutch Nixon, the greatest stuntman on planet Earth, drove an all-terrain vehicle through woodlands as unbreakable as the man himself. The stunt became known as the Moose Knuckle Run, named after a Wenja ritual involving ice baths. That's a little extra Far Cry Primal Easter egg for any fans that are paying attention. There are loads of opportunities in Far Cry 5 to hire local mercenaries to join you on your adventures. These guns for hire have plenty of different weapon specialties to suit your playstyle, and in the first hour you can recruit Jess, Dutch's niece who can quietly make short work of enemies with her bow but isn't much fun at parties, Herc and his rocket launcher, and a whole host of other oddballs. But two legs are good, four are undeniably better. We've already seen Far Cry 5's resident good boy Boomer in action in various trailers, but within the first hour of the game you can call upon another, slightly larger animal friend, Cheeseburger the Bear. You'll first need to liberate his former home, the Fang Center, from cultists, go on a really quick fishing trip, and then you'll need to track down Cheeseburger with his favourite food, freshly caught salmon. It turns out, Cheeseburger can't actually have cheeseburgers anymore because of his diabetes. Feed him some salmon, however, and he's your friend for life. A furry tractor that can throw cultists around as though they were ragdolls. 
He unfortunately can't fit into your vehicles as comfortably as a human companion would, but thankfully, he doesn't seem to have any trouble keeping up anyway. To be honest though, what can you do in the first hour of Far Cry 5? Pretty much anything it feels like. You'll begin on a small island that feels a bit more cut off from the rest of the world where you can customise your character and learn the absolute basics of the game. But not long after that, you'll be out in the world and free to tackle all sorts of tasks in whatever order you want. Because the story progression works on a resistance meter which tracks how much attention you're getting from that area's leader, you're free to do whatever you want for as long as you want. Travel by land, sea and air, go fishing, make friends, invite friends over, or just enjoy the scenery. Hope County really feels like a land of freedom, or at least it will be, once you get rid of those pesky murderous cultists. If you'd like to see how Ian and I got on in our recent co-op Let's Play, you can check out the video that's on screen now, or have a watch of any of our other Far Cry videos, including one all about Hope County's world-famous testicle festival. Of course. Thanks for watching. Bye!